Now the 2014 Nairobi International Trade Fair opened its gates Monday the 29th day of September 2014. The platform allows exhibitors to showcase their goods and services as well as innovations. If you're looking to make business contacts or networks, what is the place to be? Elijah Mwangi was on that bit. Welcome to Nairobi International Trade Fair. And this year's theme is basically to enhance agriculture and technology for food security and basically the agriculture sector. So mainly the event will focus more on technology. So here at Jamhuri Park in Nairobi, it's all systems go. As every company, every organization here is trying to get its desk or rather its display in order. And we have the judges going round being the first day to make sure that everything that is being displayed is in line with this year's theme. The event is expected to last for the next seven days and on Wednesday, President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to grace the occasion. And it's also important to note that nothing is being left to chance when it comes to matter security. We've seen police officers taking their rounds, just ensuring that everyone is safe and everything is in order. And it's not only the police officers, we also have members of the Kenya Defence Forces and the National Youth Service. For the exhibitors, it's such a platform for them to market their products and services. We happened to talk to one of the exhibitors that is Mobicash that deals with mobile money transfer and this is what they had to say. Expectations is that um, we'll be able to uh, uh, go out to the people, let people know that uh, there's a platform whereby they can be able to do their mobile money transactions conveniently, reliably, uh, uh, I would say 24-7. As highlighted by the Principal Secretary in the Ministry of Livestock, livestock diseases is one of the major challenges that the livestock sector in Kenya is grappling with. Despite all these setbacks, there are so many success stories, especially in livestock sector in Kenya. And this is evident in this year's international trade fair here in Nairobi. Perhaps a good reason for you to make sure that you attend this year's show, or rather the international trade fair. Reporting for WTV News, I'm Elijah Mwangi.